okay guys welcome to my channel my name is wiki in today's tutorial we want to look at the part two of our cardless arbitrage uh, trading tool so in our previous video we look at coin gap and set it up filter out all that we don't want so i promise to drop another tool the second tool that will help us in this uh, our cardless arbitrage trading uh, journey so today we want to look at that part two and how to set it up and how to use it so that we'll be waiting for when there is arbitrage opportunity then we take advantage and take quick action and perform a, a trade and make profit for ourselves so the second tool we'll be using in today's tutorial is called coin market cap I know you must all familiar with uh, coin market cap uh, how to set it up in order to guide you in your arbitrage uh, trading opportunity so if you are new to my channel please before we dive into this tutorial kindly click on that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so that this time I drop a new video and you'll be the one to get first get it then if you find value on my tutorial, please at the end of watching it, kindly click on that like button, then share with friends so that it will encourage me to create more great content like this. So with that being said, let us dive into the tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is to is to enter coinmarketcap.com on your browser. So when you enter coinmarketcap on your browser, it will take you to coinmarketcap interface on getting to coin market cap all you need to do is to this is the main int how the main interface look like so the one thing you need to do is you just need to click on this uh, filter right here so you see filter here you click on filter so once you click on filter so another thing you need to look at then you need to come to this line then you scroll to the to the right then you need to click on this add a filter so you click on that so we need to add some uh, filter to the filter a uh, filter to the coin market cap interface so we need to configure price here yeah. so we need to click on price right here so once you click on price and uh, you need to filter some coins out using a price range so you need to enter price right here so let us say we want all the coins in between in between one to one to maybe ten dollar so we want any coin that fall into this range to display only the coins that fall into this range to display on the coin market cap interface so with that being said you just need to click on apply So that changes are being made so the second thing you need to do is to click on yeah the percentage uh, change uh, click on change then we want to configure it with a percentage uh, range to by default is 50 so you just have to uh, customize this so anywhere between uh, all the coins that have been doing a three percent to maybe 60 percent or lately so we configure it like this three percent then 60 percent then you click on apply so with that being said with that being done you need to click on show results all right i this is the display result according to our filter so only coin from one dollar to ten dollar will be displayed here then coins that are doing three to seventy percent are display here so you just need to select a coin so you have to search through the coins so this is one tax you must have to do in order to do this uh, arbitrage uh, trading so what will happen here is you are buying the same coin low in one exchange and sell it higher in another action so let us click on one coin to see what will happen so 
you click on maybe balancer who will be token so if i click on this token right here so go ahead and select a coin okay this is the token it has doing it's been doing a for the past 24 hours uh, 4.90 percent so the next thing you need to do from here is you check the network so ethereum network fee are somehow higher so you need to take that into consideration so you need to click on market from here so you click on market so different exchanges having this coin will be displayed right here so as you can see if you see, look at the price area so you we need to take one thing into consideration so you have to select a pair with a usdt so here coin you can buy it with a this will be talking with a 5.64 dollars so let us scroll to and look for it in another place where it, you can buy it lower or higher so as you can see here on gate.io it is sold at the rate of a, a pair with a usdt it is 5.61 usdt so you just need to scroll then compare the prices compare the prices compare the prices buy with usdt make sure you take note that into a consideration so here is omar even more lower so the first price we see the highest price we saw here is uh, from a um, coin is sold at as 5.64 5.64 here so but here pair with a usdt you can still buy it at git.io 5.61 so you just keep on scrolling looking for the best uh, arbitrage uh, opportunity so pair with mix up pair with a usdt is what we are looking at so look at uh, usdt another opportunity right here so appear with a uh, usdt so if you scroll down here you can still see it lower here prohibit global look at here prohibit global sold it at the rate of 5.00 usdt this is an abstract opportunity so before you do you get too excited you need to check one thing so let us scroll up let me quickly show you something scroll to the right of the screen scroll to the right of the screen then you need to set this uh, confidence uh, rate so you need to look at the platform uh, confidence so the one we see was at number 23 so if you go to I think a number 23 pair with a USDT prohibitor year 23 then we need to set the confidence rate first of the platform so it's high then another thing to consider is uh, their liquidity rate so you need to set the volume available volume trade volume of the coin on that platform so 23 so go to 23 you need to set that uh, somehow so that we don't encounter with a delay in transactions so whenever we are making we don't end up a stock in uh, maybe instead of a market order stock in limited order thereby maybe before we can be able to execute our trade the price might drop and we end up uh, maybe in not making profit so you need to consider take all those things into consideration before doing uh executing any trade so the uh market uh, the trading volume then the confidence uh, the platform confidence rate is, so you need to take all those into uh, consideration the liquidity score so all those things are very very important as you can see the liquidity score of this prohibited uh, global is uh, somehow low so at times uh, there will be delay in execution of trade so 
you need to take all those things into consideration so you've gotten an idea so you can still um struggle around with the price uh, changing the price so you can always uh, go back to the filter and filter how the price difference so you can play around with this and the moment you see an arbitrage opportunity so the price difference between the two different exchanges you came here you buy on one exchange and you go over to the next ex the, uh, the other exchange with a higher price and you sell there so basically this is how to use a coin market cap for your crypto arbitrage so it's a very powerful tool that you can use for your crypto arbitrage so in our next tutorial maybe we'll perform a live uh, trade so consider certain things in practical before you can even execute your trade you uh you will have opportunity to preview your trade to see whether you are in loss or profit before you can even take action so in our next tutorial we'll make it more practical so that you will understand it better before going into real uh, trade so if you are not subscribed to my channel kindly click on that subscribe button and if you find value in this tutorial click on the like button share with friends so that will encourage me to create a more awesome video like this Thanks for watching.